hi guys welcome or welcome back to my channel so you guys i'm very excited to edit and like post this video because a lot has been going on in my life like ah uh, but it's all right let's just get on with the video before we continue guys please like the video subscribe to my channel you know comment good morning good afternoon good evening whenever you're watching this video you know yeah so you guys this is just me as you can see preparing for the day i'm putting my food actually this is what i do i cook food eh, on saturday and i make like a week long of food like i would just make something that would just last me like a week then i'll put in the freezer then i'll just put in my plates early in the morning like frozen as it is that i put in my plates get to work and put in the microwave and eat it like it works and yeah it saves me time saves me energy saves me money like this is the best thing i've ever discovered in my life like this is the best thing i've done anyways i'm putting water in my water bottle you know i packed spaghetti and meat it wasn't even meat or turkey i don't even i can't remember but this happened yesterday or i cannot remember i think it's turkey anyways spaghetti turkey apple drink water extra water because i'm trying to be drinking water these days yeah i can't even lie having a water bottle has been saving me like i've been drinking water I can't see i've been drinking water anyways this is why i'm always late because i'm always doing all of these things recording they yeah, are doing a lot anyways today i was not even late to me on bike doing a lot hey i'm a very reckless babe i know it anyways story time when i tell you people that nothing is stressing me believe it nothing is stressing me at work we are saddled with the responsibilities of like making our roster so as you can see on here is different postings different words different clinics and we have different dates for them anyways as you're leaving your clinic or your word for the next one you have to go there beforehand and tell them oh ma we're coming here oh, and you kind of make a roster sometimes they make it for you sometimes you make it by yourself some words give you the liberty to make it by yourself do you get but we have a condition if you're more than two sets in a ward or in a clinic you have to report back to the education unit so that they will like reshuffle you guys and will not be too much in a ward or a clinic sometimes some wards or clinics don't even have any intents and some of them have as much as four sets so they try to make it easy so last week i was in the male surgical ward supposed to go to icu this week calm no problem on wednesday i was on night shift thursday of course i was off then friday that i was able to i went to the icu to submit my roster and they were like oh we already have one set and we do not accept more than one set because icu is small anyways i go to my supervisor on friday and i tell her ma as you cannot accept more than one set of interns and she said okay on monday we'll sort it out come back on monday i wake up super early got to work before 7 30 and tell me why she starts to say oh why didn't you submit your roster before friday i'm like ma on thursday i was off wednesday at night she's like oh yeah. thursday morning why you were still in the hospital why could you not go and submit your roster i'm like my after night after night shift i'm just going to my house directly and she's like oh she be already warned you put to not be submitting your roster late da, da, da. one week extension without pay i got one week extension without pay anyways i'm not so mad because all these people that you're seeing here we're in the same boat we're in the same category all of us were bad one week extension without pay yeah it's so painful because i always do my roster early and like it was just one set that was there and something on thursday you get like it was not even my fault but yeah it is what it is no need to complain just me looking at myself i was just being sad talking to the other people about three hours as part of punishment but then they later gave me a new posting and i was posted to perry oh just one day in this posting and i'm hyped as fuck look how cute i am in a uniform Purr. like you guys i was so excited i was so excited i met a nurse that is from my hometown and she literally took me as a child oh i'm in love with her i can't lie i have just spent one day in Perry up and i'm loving it i'm loving it loving it you guys i swear i'm loving you it. you guys don't want to know how in love i am with this scrub you guys i hate the white scrub with the hatred of a bunny thousand sons like and that cape no anyways i was trying to take a video and it just asked me to you know bring a chair like just move the chair that's what i was doing i was just having fun people here are so pleasant ready to teach you it makes working and learning very fun when i tell you i'm leaning very heavily towards perioperative nursing please believe me you guys this place the ambience the people like oh i'm loving it anyways nurse borrowed me our work shoes crocs because you cannot wear your normal shoes into the theater and yeah see what i'm saying about the people yeah so this is me just you know doing the most because we have not had any patients due for surgery at this time 
but believe me when i said it trickled in like when it was time it was time like we had as much as five patients coming in at the same time yeah i was just you know chilling having fun nothing to be done hey hey give them e, e. let me tell you my partner is tall so that's why i look short anyway this is an orientation thingy taking us around to see everywhere introducing us to the world practically just you know yeah just giving us a a quick tour yeah anyways end of tour time for work i was the secretary nurse for a surgery a myomectomy and after that i needed to learn the instruments because it was just very fascinating the surgeons would say oh give me a bovie boom slap it on their hand give me hammer boom give them like there was just so many so many so many instruments and i needed to learn it in this place it's such a fast paced word well i call it a word it's not a word but it's just a fast-paced place like everybody's just going and coming you need to be fast and efficient and you know like ah oh, it's just a lot it's just a lot you need to be aseptic like you need to be thinking with your head like be fast be clean do everything right prevent germs don't infect yourself anyways i was washing the instrument and this is my favorite nurse in the Perry all by the way okay one of my favorite nurses sorry to the other nurses she came and she was teaching me how to wash the instruments properly like she was telling me okay this is this okay this is the scissors you need to wash in between because like clotted blood could be there wash pad dry it like soak it in jig for this amount of minutes wash pad dry da -da -da -da. teaching me every single thing i needed to know and yeah i was learning i was soaking it up you guys i was okay up <laughs> yeah after washing and rinsing i went outside to go and dry it and after drying then you put it you pack it up to be sent for autoclaving so yeah everybody's just doing their thing like everybody's just always doing their thing yeah you need to catch up or you'll be left behind surgery is just i love you 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 anyways extra info you guys the next day i was the proper scrub nurse for a cesarean section you guys there were two scrub nurses me and another nurse and she was just taking me through like teaching me and i was excited i had the time of my life i can't lie everybody was so patient like they just gave me grace you know like what's the learning process without stumbling a bit yeah a bit because i didn't stumble too much trust me anyways you guys even if i do not end up as a perioperative nurse peri up will forever 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 always have my heart like I can't wait to see where this journey leads me, but ah, uh, Perry up, I love you. After everything, I bet you could not tell that I'd only had a sip of water since morning. Like, I'd not eaten, I was tired, my bones were aching, but trust me when I tell you that I was thoroughly enjoying it. See me dancing. Hey, hey, hey. So, time for food because even though my mind, my heart is overjoyed and happy, my belly is still hungry. I need to eat. 
so i microwaved my food and ate after eating i relaxed a bit and then i went to the recovery room because two patients had just had their surgery done and they needed to be monitored before they go back to their ward so after monitoring i was documenting everything that i did and then i called their wards and told them that they are stable and they can be transported back into the world because i have sense and i do not want any extra extensions i decided it was time to make my roster so i made two weeks roster and yeah this was me conversing with the theater manager and asking her like ma what do you want when do you want me to work when do you want me and my partner to work she was like oh okay you push just work money 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 shift and you can come afternoon shift on tuesday so that's what i was writing and after this i went to the nurse anesthetics office and i made my roster too and had them sign because <laughs> i'm not working extra i'm not i'm really not finally this very eventful day has come to an end so i changed out of my theater clothing to my normal clothes and you guys please like comment share subscribe all those good stuff if you enjoyed this video half as much as i enjoyed making it you guys had the most fun thank you i love you and i'll see you in my next video okay yeah bye i love you